with all of the COVID stuff this year, we've taken on a bunch of home projects and most of them I don't want to do, but my wife convinced me to do it. And the latest one has been getting rid of the old, ugly wood balusters, repainting this and putting in these new aluminum balusters. I thought immediately this is going to be super complicated, super expensive, but it's really not. So I wanted to kind of show you how easy it is. I've obviously done the majority of this, but I saved one to show you how to do this and how easy it is. What we're using are products from the Home Depot. Uh, there's tap and twist uh, parts for balusters. And what they are, are actually the bottom plug here that goes, once you cut these to size, now you have to measure them. It's actually pretty easy. Measure them, cut them to size with a normal jigsaw with a metal cutting blade. And then what these are, are this kit, this tap and twist kit, are actually a setting for in the hole where the old baluster was. Now I had to use a drill to hollow them out because our old balusters just sat on there, they were nailed in. So I drilled holes, it's easy to do a measurement and see how wide you need it, and then you tap these in. And then what this is, is it taps into the actual baluster, which allows you to set this here and then as you turn it, if you need to turn it, it actually pulls out this and allows the baluster to raise up into the top hole that you've drilled to a tight, a tighter position into the hole. Our dog's being loud. <laughs> if you if you measure it, you'll get you'll get used to where you want to measure it to where you actually don't really have to do much of the twisting because these come with, on the other end, a nice rubber fitting that once you put your hole up there, and you, you can kind of shove it up there and you don't really have to do much of the twisting. But it's nice to have in case you maybe cut this a little bit short, you can actually twist it up to fit. So I've done this last one here. I've got this in, I've got the little rubber piece here. And the last thing you wanna do, can't forget, is to put on these little decorative sleeves just to cover up the the, uh, the woodwork. So what you want to do is make sure you're putting these the right way and aligning the little screw holes, usually mandatory, but um, once they're like that, you can simply insert it into the hole. And if you've measured correctly, You've given yourself plenty of wiggle room, you push it up, and then you set this down into that hole. Now, like I said, if you need to, you can twist this to make it more tight, but I've measured these enough now where this one, it really is pretty snug already. So then all you gotta do is take your Allen wrench and tighten these, and you're done. Yay! Big improvement for not very much money. How much money do you think it costs all together? The whole project probably cost about a hundred bucks. $10 probably per baluster mm -hmm. or yeah, yeah, $5 being for the actual baluster and another $5 for the mm -hmm. actual hardware. So about a hundred bucks for these, these 10 